Hi, it's Megan. Anyone who's watched enough of my videos knows that I love maths and um, I love all maths, right? There's that whole video about it. I love cats. I like all maths. I like them stiff. I like them creamy. I just like them all. So Maybelline came out with a new fall 2014 collection of lipsticks. There are 10 colors, the creamy mattes, color sensations, and I picked up a bunch of them at my local CVS, which means I paid more than I would have had I picked them up at a different store, but you know what? That's where I found them. And they, I still paid about $8 each. So, and I got seven. I actually got four, and then I went back and got more of them because I like them so much. So the swatches and the outdoor photos of them are in two batches. And I've been playing around with them. Um, first of all, what do I think of them? Some of them are more matte than others. When they say creamy matte, these are not like your true, true, true matte. Um, this is one of them. This is one of the nudes. And it does have more of a matte texture than a non-matte lipstick, but it really is a creamy matte. So the good news about that is that it feels creamy on the lips. It's not one of those stiffer formulas. It doesn't bunch up. It doesn't dry my lips, although most things don't dry my lips, but less so even than most mattes. Um, it just feels like a creamy, textured, lighter lipstick on your lips. It has kind of the same smell that most Maybelline lipsticks have, which is kind of a chemically weird smell, but not super strong. And it comes in this case, like that. And so I really love them. The wear is also super great. They last a good two, sometimes three, or a little bit more hours um, if you're not eating or drinking or whatever, once I start eating and drinking. Only the darkest one kind of uh, it didn't really bleed exactly. I just felt like because it was such a dark shade, it wore longer, but I'm not sure I would say it wore better. But I will tell you the best thing about this collection, and I'm going to start with that, and then I'm going to show the colors that I have on one by one. I've learned over time it's actually better, even though it's kind of annoying, to take it on and off on camera. It's actually better because then people can see my natural lip color and the impact it has on the shades and these are pretty opaque so I felt like I got a good cov good coverage with the lipsticks even my top lip with the lighter shades which sometimes just fades away I thought it was great and um, I thought they applied wonderfully well so the most exciting thing though I felt really bad when I fell in love with Max True Love's Kiss which was the Maleficent lipstick. It was a limited edition that sold out in like a snap and I haven't been able to find a do for it. But this is the closest I found. So there's a slight difference in finish. I'm gonna show this one first, although I'm not gonna put it on my lips yet. Um, so this is 690. It is Siren in Scarlet. Looks like this. And I will show you the two compared. So there's definitely a difference in the texture in that the MAC is super shiny, it's an amplified finish, and it definitely is shiny, but color-wise, this is the closest I've found. You can see the two there, you can see how close they are. So that is True Love's Kiss, and that is, what was it, Siren and Scarlet. And I think it looks more the same off-camera than it does on for some reason, but uh, I was excited that they were super close. They're both kind of like medium, like not cool or warm, just kind of a medium brightened red, really um, neutral kind of a red that is dark, no, not dark, pigmented, but yet kind of a lighter to medium, light medium red. So it's a little bit more wearable than some of the more dramatic reds. So anyway, that was my exciting discovery. And I took it outside, I took it inside, I took it everywhere to see if I was right, and I'm convinced I'm right. Please feel free to disagree. Okay, this is Nude Immersion. So I got two of the nudes. I like matte nudes. And what I like about mattes, this type of matte, is that it kind of looks like you blotted your lips. It's not a full matte. Uh, it does not, I think, show lines more than most lipsticks. But since it doesn't have that sheen, if you do have a lot of lines on your lips, they are going to maybe show a little bit more. So this is it. And uh, I also doused all of these in alcohol because looking at them, they had kind of this texture like someone had touched them, I thought. I don't know if they had. So this is a peach-based, kind of a pure nude. It's a lighter nude, obviously. This would look a lot better on me with smoky eyes um, or colors on my lids, but, you know, you can't do everything. 
The next nude, I think this is pretty opaque coverage in my opinion. The next nude is 655 Divinely Nude. Super easy to apply, great coverage, and this is a little bit more of a pink face nude. So this is the first, this is the second. And these both last two and a half plus hours on me. I was pretty impressed. The next color is Touch of Spice. This is one of the ones I went back to get. I was a little scared. I was very scared by the idea that it was maybe brown based. I actually really love it. This is like a My Lips Are Better color. You can see right there. And um, it, in my opinion, slightly brown, but more of like a rosy color with just a touch, touch, touch of brown added. And that was number 660. The next one is 665, and this is Lust for Blush. And you can see really easy, creamy application, great coverage. And this is 665, I already said that. It's like a, got a little bit of a mauve purpley undertone to the pink. Cool, cool color. Cool undertone, I mean. I love this color though. It's kind of like, I don't know, what a baby's lips would look like. The next one is 670, Ravishing Rose. This is one of my favorites. This one in the red, well, this one in the red and then the really dark color in the collection are my favorites. This is it. And you can see compared to the other one, it's much more, so this was the first. That one's a little bit darker, a little bit more purple. This is really just a true pink, cool tone pink. I adore this shade. I think it's so softly feminine and pretty. It's just like amazing. I guess these are like five fifty at Target, but they were eight dollars at CVS. I did not get the coral. It was just it was a dark too orange for me. This one's the red I talked about. Uh, Siren and Scarlet. That. Um, I also didn't get the two darker pinks. There's a fuchsia and then one that's a little bit, I think, more purple based. You can see what a great wearable red this is. I like both textures. I like this one and I like the MAC. I just, I don't know, given that we're in September now, I just felt like the darker, more vibrant pinks and corals were more summery and, uh, my understanding is these are permanent collection, although, oh god, the reds. The displays I saw and that I've seen online only have two of each color, so they're getting sold out, like wiped out really fast. The ones I tried on, they were almost all gone. Um, and I obviously decimated them. This is the last one. This is $6.95 Divine Wine. And for a good two hours, this was pristine, and I was drinking coffee and water both. Um, I just love this shade. It's the kind of color I'm always like, ah, oh, I really want to wear this. It reminds me a little bit of Charlotte from the new NARS Audacious lipsticks, which I could be totally wrong about, but I've been a little bit obsessed with that color and not buying it, and of course I could have bought that instead of these, but these are so much fun. Um, and uh, so this is it. Uh, perfect for fall, and it's kind of a... I don't know, I guess I would call this an oxblood. It's like a darkened red kind of color. Like darkened as in not dark red, but darkened as in blackened with some black undertones to them. I did not get staining with these at all. Maybe, maybe a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of staining with this one color, but I, I don't see it. So that's kind of a nice thing. So anyway, those are the ones I got. I would love your feedback on these. Um, if you have the three colors I didn't get, I just, I don't know, I kind of fell hard and heavy for these because I just, 
I love the mattes, I love the finish, I love how well these wear, and I like the colors. They're all really wearable colors, where some brands have done some crazy matte colors recently. These are all super wearable. Um, and I just, I always fall for the nudes, even though they're not the most flattering on me. So please subscribe on YouTube. I have a new book, Cap no, Escape, which is a terrorist novel, so if you like them, get it. It's on Amazon. If not, don't. Add <laughs>